Like I'm, I am at at 18, man. I'm my bread is up. Like I'm, and I'm I'm cash and I'm and I'm wrong, but I'm cashing out. I got eighty four thousand dollars at my girlfriend's house, just in ones and fives in a trash bag that I ain't even fucking thinking about. I'm riding around with at least sixty thousand dollars every goddamn day. In the in the back of that Monte Carlo, I was at this, this spot, this club one time on the other, on the north side, and they broke in all the cars. They broke in all the cars. Broke in mine too. And I went right in the car and popped that trunk. Went right in the club and popped that trunk. And right in my trunk was thirty thousand dollars that people missed. Cause I had, and I know I know how I got it. I know it was wrong and shit. But I was out. And I, and I remember when I wanted to buy a car. I wanted to buy my own shit. I don't want to charge shit no more. I want to buy my own shit. And I don't have no cosigner. All I'm thinking about, you got to have a cosigner. And all this, I can't tell my mama. I can't tell my daddy. So I went to the, I went on Ranchester with my, my little hood when I was still a dope in. Went to the trap. I got this, um, this dope fiend named Al. I say, Al, I need you to run to the dealership with me, man. I need you to tell the people you my daddy. <laughs> Al was like, shit, I'll do it. What's up? We get to the dealership, and Al, man, doing way too much. That man, all that man did was put his papers together. He ain't even say nothing to him. He just said, so we buying the car today. He said, I'm his daddy. Come here, outside. Let me talk to you. The man ain't ask you nothing, man. Be quiet, man. Calm down. Come on. Sir, um, my, my dad is just excited, you know, <laughs> buying his son his first car. He's just excited, you know. Go, go ahead with the process. The man talked a little bit. He said, well, let's start this process. All the man said was, I need your ID and your ID. That's all that man said. I gave that man my ID. And Al leaned towards that man and said, Al Smith. <laughs> I was like, man, what the fuck was that? He said, man, what? That man asked me for my ID. I said, yeah, yeah, for your fucking ID. You talk about Al Smith and suck at your goddamn face. <laughs> Man, what that work at? Don't nobody work at? He said, shit, oh, uh, at the liquor store, I go by there. <laughs> you know, at the VA, the little shelter, when I go slide through there. Man, man, stay right here. <laughs> man, listen. What is gonna take for me to get this car? without him. <laughs> he said, man, if you're getting a loan, you're going to need a co-signer. I said, getting a loan? I'm not getting a loan. He said, you want to pay for it in cash? I said, yes. <laughs> Tell me how much it is, and I got you. What if you're going to pay for it in cash? You don't need him. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that man told me what it was. I said, I'll be back. Be back. Charles came and picked me up. Took me to the spot. I came back with that man's money in a sour cream and onion potato chip bag. <laughs> the, the big one. The big one. Because ain't nobody gonna rob you for no bag of chips. <laughs> I came and dumped that man money out. That man got that car ready. Washed it up. Brought me that tight and everything. Gave me them keys. I jump in my whip. BMW 533i, champagne. No tin on the windows. Need you to see me. Uh, need you to see me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I'm getting ready to pull off. I hear that, 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 that on my window. 
I don't roll the window down, I, I get out. I said, what you want? It's Al. I said, what you want? He said, man, I need a ride back to the hood. I said, man, your dirty ass ain't getting my goddamn car. He goes, that's how you gonna do your daddy. 